so much. David, can you please stand over there? Sorry. Thank you so much. I hope I'm doing this right here. But, uh, let, me, let me just say this. That there are so many things that are affected by what's happening with the foreclosure crisis. But the, the problem that we have is that we are dealing with a crisis, and yet the response is not at the level that you would expect when you have a crisis. You have a federal government, a state government, and even local governments that are trying to do something, but they're not clearly doing enough. And, and so the only recourse that we have as citizens of this city is to take to the streets and to exercise our First Amendment rights to say, this is wrong. This is not how we do business in San Francisco. This is not how we do business in this country. I can only tell you from my own experience as an immigrant from Latin America, for me, for my parents, for my family, for so many people who have come to this country in search of a better uh, way of life, you know, owning a home was, was the American dream. And the American dream is now in peril. What's happened with these banking institutions, with these other companies that have actually exploited the rules to take advantage of people, is that they are, at the very core, undermining what the American dream is about. That's right. And it's not only impacting the people whose homes are being foreclosed, many of whom, by the way, are disproportionately people of color, but it's actually impacting entire neighborhoods. Because if, if your neighbor loses your home, not only are you losing that neighbor, but you're losing the quality of that neighborhood. So you have here in this group people from Bernal Heights, from other parts of the city who believe that the, the fate and the future of their neighbors is connected to their very own fate, to their own, the very own future. That's why we're here to say that we in San Francisco are not going to let our neighbor be exploited this way. And what's so sad about this is that, talk about taking responsibility. The people that we're talking about whose homes are going to be lost if no, no action is taken are people who actually want to pay their loans, people who actually right. want to do the right, right thing, right. who actually right. want to right. work with the banks, right. who actually you know, want to do what, what every American wants to do, which is to pay off you know, your bills, to make sure you live right. up to your obligations. But the rules are stacked against them, and these banks are not paying attention to them because for them, what counts the most is the bottom line. That is not the American way. Right. You know, the American way is that you work hard, you play by the rules, you do what you're supposed to, and that's how things are supposed to work. That's not how things are working. And here in San Francisco, we're not going to let that happen. That is why it's important for city government to do everything we can to ensure that we ask these banks and these companies, you know, instead of like locking down these gates, they should open the door that is the American way. That is the San Francisco way. You are not alone. We're going to be with you as long as it takes.